Hello, my name is Dr. Earl Roundtree, and I'm here to talk about mental illness. Uh, first of all, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Rapco Media for allowing me this opportunity to share some light on mental illness. As you know, here, especially in our city of Albany, we have encountered so many deaths of our loved ones. The question is, how do we cope with this? First of all, we must understand and realize that what you are feeling is very valid. Normally, we feel in what we call the sense of guilt. Why do I feel guilty? Because I wasn't there when my loved one passed away. I wasn't there to hold their hands. I wasn't there to comfort them in their final stage of life. And due to the virus, I was forbidden to even go to the hospital and be at their bedside. So there is a sense of guilt not being there with them during those last moments. And then again, that final kiss of goodbye that you want to give that loved one, that you were not able to do that because of the virus. And not being there after they have passed away. And then we also want to talk about not getting what I call a final closure with this situation. Because as you know, here in Albany, we have been having so many graveside funerals and only a limited amount of people are able to attend those services of their lost loved one. There's so many other family members that did not get the opportunity to have that final goodbye. But there is some solutions. First of all, number one, we have to make sure that we remain healthy through this process. Cause we got to make sure that we are there for our loved ones to help them cope with what's going on. And secondly, allow yourself enough time to heal, to process the pain, to process the loss of your loved ones. And thirdly, moral support. It's very important to get moral support. Reach out to your family members, reach out to your loved ones, reach out to your friends for that moral support. And if all of that fail, seek professional counseling. Remember, they are here to help you walk through the process and the death of your loved one. I am so glad to have the opportunity to share a little bit of light on mental illness. Remember always to watch out for the signs and seek help as soon as possible. Thank you so much and have a great day.